Hello, and welcome to Coveo Bite Size Learnings. In this video, we're going to talk about applying query parameters in the Coveo Cloud V2 query pipelines using partial match settings as an example. Coveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. I've designed a simple internal search experience that allows folks within the organization to search our cases, knowledge documents, and documentation wiki. While I've got tabs for each of those repositories, I've also got a tab which allows you to search everything in one place. One of the things that we've done to ensure that people are finding what they need, even if they're not well versed on the use of logical operators such as AND and OR, is to enable partial matching. As you may already know, partial matching can be easily configured directly in a search page. Here, in the JSUI editor, we can see that partial match is enabled. It kicks in with queries that have three or more terms. And once it kicks in, documents which match on at least 40% of the terms in the query are considered matches. If we were not using the JSUI editor, we could also see these configurations directly in the HTML code as attributes of the Coveo search box component. The thing is, we found a twofold problem with managing these configurations in the page code. First, it took several iterations to find the right threshold for the support audience. Additionally, we have several internal audiences using this same search page, and we find that it's useful for some of those audiences to have different thresholds. This, in turn, would mean additional pages to manage if the setting is configured in the page. And further, would also mean even more iterations for every variation and each variation's updates. For each iteration, most organizations would need to call on resources from the web development team in order to not only make the change, but also handle all the testing and change management as well, adding significant overhead. The good news is that there's another way to manage these sorts of settings, the Coveo Cloud V2 Query Pipeline's Query Parameters feature. If we go into our browser's developer tools, choose the Network tab, and resubmit our search. We can look at the request headers and see three familiar parameter names in the form data. Partial match, partial match keywords, and partial match threshold. The Query Pipeline's Query Parameters feature will allow you to override these. So I'm going to edit my page and remove the settings that we had configured, and save and verify that my change has indeed been applied. Sure enough, because the default query building behavior is to apply a logical AND between the search terms, we suddenly get no results. To move these configurations into our Cloud Query pipelines, I'll go into my Coveo Cloud V2 console, into the Query Pipelines section, and I can see my default pipeline here. Normally, you would not want to edit any pipelines which are active in production. The best practice would be to duplicate it, make changes in your new pipeline, test those changes, and then roll the new pipeline into production. However, for purposes of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and work directly in my default pipeline for efficiency's sake. Going into my pipeline, into the Query Parameters section, adding a rule is easy. Just click Add Rule, and fill out the form. These rules can apply to full, user-submitted queries, or they can also apply to query suggestions. In this example, we'll just stick to queries. First, we'll enable partial match by choosing the parameter name, partial match, choosing a Boolean value, and setting it to true. Then, we'll set the keyword threshold, partial match keywords, and we'll set that to three words, as we did before. Then we'll set the matching threshold, partial match threshold, at 40% as we had configured in the page. Now we can go back to our search page and resubmit our query. And voila, we're back to our useful list of results. Again, taking this out of the page itself allows us to do a couple of things much more easily since we're not modifying code and thus don't have to engage our web developers. First, it allows us to iterate more quickly and easily in case the thresholds we set don't work for our target users. 
Additionally, we've configured these roles without conditions. If we want to set different thresholds for different audiences, for example, we could duplicate the rule enough times to cover the audiences we have. Say, for a general internal audience, our support audience we've been focusing on, and maybe our developers who prefer greater precision and who are more likely to use logical constructs. For our general internal audience, we'll lower that threshold to 30% and leave it without a condition here at the top of the list. For our developer audience, we'll set it up to 60% and apply a condition to invoke the rule based on data sent in the context object. For our support team, we've already got the threshold where we want it, so we just have to apply our condition and we're good to go. Of course, the Query Pipeline Query Parameter feature is not limited to just partial matching configurations. For an up-to-date rundown of options, please visit support.coveo.com and search for Managing Query Parameters. And on the resulting page, you'll find a wealth of information on this topic, including examples of parameters to override and use cases when you might want to consider these options. Here we see the excerpt length parameter, which you could use in order to conditionally alter the amount of content from documents which show up within the search results list. Managing this and other listed options in the cloud allows you the same level of flexibility and efficiency we just described in the context of managing partial matching settings. If you're looking at ways to efficiently improve and iterate on your search experiences, we recommend that you discuss the Query Pipeline's Query Parameter feature with your Coveo Customer Success Manager right away. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel and our e-learning playlist in order to learn more about using the Coveo suite of relevance tools to make your business personal. For more in-depth training courses, please visit www.coveo.com training.